Hello and welcome to the Album Man and today it's time for CDs and vinyl I bought recently for uh, what month? October 2013 and today we are listening to a bit of Egg because you know Egg are awesome and this particular song is Fugue in D minor the reinterpretation of the um, Bark classic. Okay so we're getting with the LPs not many but uh, some cool stuff so let's start with a bit of Prague we, we all like some Prague here we have Emerson Lake and Palmer's Tarkus. Yes, one of the, you know, filling some gaps in my Emerson Lake and Palmer collection. And um, one of the few albums of theirs I don't have. And this is the um, Gatefold, which is always nice. And yeah, I mean, I picked this up for literally about a pound. So, you know, that is a pretty damn decent bargain, to be honest, you know. Okay, next. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've probably already seen that, but yeah, okay. The Who's Tommy. Oh, my God. I've been wanting this on LP for such a long bloody time. I'll tell you. I mean, I, I paid premium for this. And premium for me is, is £5 a car boot. But, uh, yeah. Fantastic condition. Um, uh, you know, it folds out into uh, all this loveliness, which you can't really show. But yeah, of course, double album. What more to say? It's the Who's classic 1969 first concept album. Um, and one, well, I would not say it's the first concept album ever, but uh, certainly one of the most important and one of the first, no doubt about that. And fantastic, yeah, it's a really strong album. I mean, some songs like Undershore, I just, uh, no. <laughs> That doesn't do it for me, but uh, in general, I think it's a very strong album. But uh, I need to give it a few more listens before really fully judging. I've only given it the one. I'll put it back in the sleeve later. Okay, so let's move on to some CDs. Yes. Okay. So we'll start with some 2013 releases I picked up. So one I already showed in a concert review I did, which like no one's watched. <laughs> I did like 25 years or so. So Tracer, Tracer's new album El Pistolero, and as you can see it's signed by the band, even though the bassist, pictured here, um, this guy, he didn't actually play on this album. There you go, go figure. It, it says, you know, on bass it says that guy, but then it says in the, like, notes, uh, it says all bass um, played by some other guy, so that's kind of funny. I ha honestly, I haven't got around to listening to this yet, but uh, when I saw them live, they played a few songs from this, and yeah, it was uh, very, very good, very impressed, hence why I bought it at the concert, got it signed, supported the band, you yeah, know, why not? But I'll be giving it a listen in the coming days. Oh, While Growing My Hair by Egg, this is probably my favourite of their songs, who knows if you can hear this, but well. Okay, very interesting, I'm Uncle Acid and the Deadbeat Mind Control. Mmm. So if you don't know who these are, these are the guys who are supporting Black Sabbath, and while well, I have a ticket to go and see Black Sabbath at the MEN, so that's bloody awesome. And yeah, so I thought I'd pick this album. Well, in fact, I was in the uh, Manchester Exchange, um, Vinyl Record Exchange, whatever, and I got a few other CDs that I'll show a bit later. And uh, this was actually playing. This was playing over on the CD thing, and I was just like, Whoa, what the hell is this? This sounds awesome. Not knowing what it was, looks and sort of some grass and it's like, oh my god, they're the guys from Black Sabbath. Well, they sound awesome. I'm gonna go and see them live. I have to pick up the album. So I did. And yeah, it's really good. If you like your doom metal, you like your stoner metal, you're gonna love this. And if you don't, well, then you won't. But definitely check it out. I'll be doing a review of it, you know, one day. Anathema's Universal, yes, I was recommended to pick this up, and well, how could I resist? You know how much I love Anathema. Weather Systems was my album of the year for 2012, and well, this has most of Weather Systems live. Yeah, if, if you like Anathema, buy this. Yeah, uh, this is just wonderful. This is just absolutely stunning in every way. It basically, it really only takes songs from three of their albums, which River Systems, We're Here Because We're Here, and uh, A Natural Disaster. And, I mean, the opening is Untouchable Part 1, Untouchable Part 2, and Thin Air, which, I mean, you can't get many better openings than that to live albums ever, to be honest. And yeah, this is a CD DVD set, and of course, the th thing about this, which is really cool, they're accompanied by a full orchestra. And that just, it really lifts the songs up, just brings them alive. The production's fantastic on this album, um, you know, and I haven't actually watched the DVD yet, 
And the only little disappointing thing is that quite a lot of the songs are exclusive to the DVD and aren't on the CD. Stuff like Deep, One Last Goodbye, Fragile Dreams and the whole of the encore are not actually on the CD. That's the only thing that disappoints me because I'm mainly going to listen to this on the CD to be quite honest. But uh, I will watch the DVD and it's awesome, definitely don't regret it. A nice, uh, you know, hardback book just like Weather Systems Special Edition. Okay. From one of my favourite record shops on the planet, Quicksilver Music in Southport, I got uh, Jefferson Airplane's Surrealistic Pillow. I've been meaning to pick this album up for a while. This is the remaster with some burn shit. Of course, you may have thought I had this because I played it in a, well, a couple of CDs and vinyl, but recently ago I played this album, but uh, I didn't actually have it. So I've rectified that stuff like, of course, Somebody to Love, um, White Rabbit. She has funny cars I like quite a bit. Embryonic Jenny is really good. It is a solid album. The only thing I wish, I wish Grace Slick vocals was present on all the songs, because I don't know who the male vocalist is, but he's alright. But I mean, Grace Slick's vocals are just amazing. I absolutely love her as a vocalist. Wonderful. Okay, at Car Boot, I found some pretty interesting stuff, as I often do. So, I found the Ramones self titled first album, I believe. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this was only like a quid or two pounds, I think two pounds. And this is remastered, of course. And it has a ton of bonus tracks. I mean, it has about six, seven bonus tracks, something like that. So, that's really cool. I mean, this is a classic. I honestly haven't listened to it yet, but I will. And uh, looking forward to it. This is I didn't expect to find a car boot. You do not expect to find the sword as a car boot. If you don't know who the sword are, they are a stone and metal, doom metal band. Really, really cool. I mean, this, the, the albums are quite expensive on Amazon there. They're not easy to get hold of. So when you see one at a car boot for £3 in basically perfect condition, then, you know, you can't really resist, to be honest. So, well, I didn't. And, yeah, great album. Enjoyed it quite a lot. Been going through such a doom metal phase. Now, this... This is such a cool find. I think I paid three quid for it and I've never seen this before. So, Pantera Far Beyond Driven. Now, of course, I've seen this album before, but I've never seen this limited edition picture CD in presentation box collector's edition. I mean, this is a lovely hard um, back box for it. And, you know, I've looked, I've looked the, um, this version up. And I can't find it on Amazon UK whatsoever. And I can only find it on Amazon US for like $30 or something. So yeah, it seems this is actually a pretty rare find. And uh, yeah, very happy to have this as well. Pantera are pretty awesome um, groove metal, is it? I think so. Okay. So as I said, I went to Manchester Record Exchange and uh, picked up some very, very cool stuff. So Catatonia's Last Fair Deal Gone Down. Being, I went in there with the sole aim of picking up some Catatonia, so I was not going to walk away without some. Especially this is the album I was looking for, because it's an album of completely clean vocals. And it's amazing. I really like it. And this has three bonus tracks as well. Always nice. And yeah, stuff like, uh, let's see, Dispossession, Tear Gas, uh, Sweetness, I don't know. Tonight's reason, it's just the whole album is wonderful. I love the vibe of this album. Love, uh, is it Jonas Renk? Is he the vocalist? Let me just check. Yes, Jonas Renk. His voice is just fantastic. Songwriting superb. Definitely a band I want to explore more of. I think Viva Emptiness is the album I want to go for next, to be honest. That's just been nearly remastered as well. Bob Dylan's Modern Times. I think this was literally a pound or two pounds. And how can I resist Modern Times for like two quid? You know how I'm Dylan and I'm just infatuated with him at the moment. And as I'm going to see him live in a few weeks' time, he plays a couple of songs from Modern Times, which are Thunder on the Mountain, I think. And I think Spirit on the Water, I think the first two, actually. And yeah, so I thought I'd get this album, check the songs out. I think this is the album that has the song about uh, Alicia Keys on it, which is uh, odd. Opeth. Opeth are awesome. Um, yeah, they, they they really are. I mean, Ghost Reveries has Bang of the Hounds, one of my favourite Opeth songs. And yeah, I didn't ever see myself really getting into any death metal bands, but these guys? Oh yeah. I mean, this has a lot of death metal growling vocals, but I don't give a damn. It's just fantastic. The mix of death metal and 
70s progressive rock with cleans and heaviness and oh my god the light and shit I just do bloody fall in love with Opus absolutely fall in love with it but I think Heritage I've been listening to that I don't know doesn't that hasn't clicked yet no um, I think it's probably their weakest I've heard so far I want to get Still Life next so I've heard good things about that okay um, this was a Birmingham Record Exchange. I got Orange Goblins, a eulogy for the Downs. Been looking out for Orange Goblin a while. This is another doom metal band. Yes, yeah, I love my doom metal. Great band. I think this only came out last year, to be honest. This was only like four quid, so pretty good bargain. Okay, I have a few minutes left, so it's got to be kind of quick. Um, Dream Theater, triple live album. I already have like three, four Dream Theater live albums, but why not have another? Life at the Badokan, one of their classics, three discs, very interesting, has some stuff from um, Train of Thought, like uh, As I Am, um, which is very cool, has some stuff from Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence, One Step Ahead, Test and Stunt More, which I saw live when I saw them a couple of years ago, and uh, yeah, very cool, cool. Um, and the name of God as well, that's what ends it, like the live version of that a lot. Okay. Some CX stuff, Radiohead's Pablo Honey. I've been loving the ever-living hell out of Radiohead recently. So three quid, Pablo Honey, get close to completing my Radiohead discography, effectively, having all of them. I enjoy the sound, but I'll give my full thoughts. I'm probably going to end up reviewing some Radiohead eventually. Okay, but my band of the month has to be Paradise Lost. Yes, I bought Draconian Times by the band, this gothic metal band, and oh my god. God, is this album amazing. I'm just infatuated with it, really. I mean, stuff like Enchantment, um, Hallowed Land, Forever, Failure. What songs these are. I mean, seriously. It's just an amazing album. G gives, uh, I think it has some metallic-y black album elements to it. And great gothic metal. So want to get into these guys a lot more. Absolutely just love them. And very quickly, because my camera's about to run out, i um, got Host as well by now, which is like Depeche Mode meet Gothic Metal. Very, very odd, but uh, really, I like it. It's split fan base, but I like it an awful lot. I think it actually works very, very well. So much is lost, nothing sacred. I really like quite a lot. Okay, so this has been Yaman. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and as usual, long live rock and roll.